Hey everybody, um, I'm going to try and do this. I'm trying to show something and I thought I'd put something cute down like all the other ladies do. Sorry about my chair, it makes a lot of noise. Okay, on my Etsy store, I have a, sh I have a uh, infirmary pack. This is my infirmary pack. In this infirmary pack, there's 81 pieces. Okay, now I didn't count this envelope here which I should count so that's 81 that would be 82 pieces but I'm just gonna say 81 and if you want to count that that's 82 so uh, here we go now there's pieces in here that are like they open up they were a page that was stapled in the middle they were like the center signature so all I did was pull them out and give that whole piece to you both sides and I didn't count those as two pieces I count them as one just wanted to let you know that too in advance. So we're going to start over here. This is the little infirmary pack that you will get. In here you will have uh, washi stickers. Pull this on out. You'll get this little handmade by me, um, what do they call them, a uh, vellum envelope that I made homemade. So it's going to be a little cottywampus. I had to make my own stencil for that, or not stencil, but what do you call those? The um, template. I had to make my own template out of it. So that's uh, a, a possibility you can count that as one. So this is, and you get all these pretty little um, infirmary pieces, which are just stickers. Then you get these cards. And you get some, I think these are Russian. I'm not sure. These are some, um, like, word cards. And then you have some, um, what do you call these? Uh, like, stitchery kind of things where you can learn how to stitch with. Uh, it's a template, basically. Both of them are. You get a vintage uh, letter without the em without the envelope because they didn't they didn't come with the envelopes when I bought them. These are vintage. Uh, you'll find out the the buyer will find out how vintage these are. That's why I'm not going to worry about telling you how old they are. Um, and this is just a received of petty cash little um, piece of paper and a tiny little doily. That's what you'll get in this bunch right here. I like putting them back in the way that I had them in there because they were much more easier to see through, you know, and see the pretties that was in there. Okay, that's that. I did not count it. If you counted it, then you're doing better than me. I'm going to have to find another one because some sticky stuff is showing. So hang on. Let me get that real quick. Let's see. I think it's in this one. So I'm going to find that real quick. And just pull one out. Randomly pull it out. There we go. I actually like these. These are real cute. They look like real ones. Like I'm holding. See, looks like I'm holding one, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put him down in there. So there's the 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 small infirmaria that will go in this kit. Just hold it over there like that. And then you'll get two CD um, envelopes. In them is, and this one is uh, bigger infirmary pieces, will be in this one. It has things that I already had in this infirmary pack that was on my Etsy store. And then I added to it. Okay, like I said, you get the um, envelope. That counts, and so does this count. These things count, not this one. Just the stuff that's in it. You get this disc of some kind. I don't know what that's for. You get this little um, art piece that's on a like a canvas of some kind. And then you have two miniature index cards. You have two of these. I don't know where the other one is. It should be in here. There it is right there. Pull it out of there. So you get two blank Rolodex card things. I'm going to flip these over so I know that 
chapter in their right. There we go. There. Okay. You get a vent. You get two vintage uh, pictures. You get a regular picture, and then you get a uh, cabinet card. You'll see that, or cab, yeah, cabinet card, I guess, or cabinet photo, whatever they're called. But you get a vintage picture. Uh, this one's a more uh, like this one's vintage. It's just not like as old as this one back here is. This one's 1945. And the other one's like the 18th century. Um, and then you get this card that's for uh, learning how to. Uh, learning music, kind of like a flashcard for ma mathematics is. This is another um, template uh, for uh, cross stitching. You get a guest check. You get a vintage um, Valentine's card. These were very well taken care of. I love these. Um, and this is a, what do you call them, recipe card. This is a postcard from a book that I bought that had a whole bunch of postcards in it. See, uh, Lewis Hines, the Empire State Building photographs. It's pictures of them building, the men building the uh, Empire State Building. And it's a um, postcard. And then you get one of the vintage style uh, mathematic cards, flashcards. You get a bridge score pad. Um, um, you get a, a, a sheet from a, a vintage uh, bridge score pad. There we go. I'll get it right yet. This is a recipe card for whatever that is uh, for Sunny Scramble. So on WS, like breakfast, you know, in a in a um, tomato. This is a vintage sticker for your content, you know, back in the 60s. That's what this was. It was actually in my mother's stuff that I was given. Been holding and hoarding these. <laughs> so each one of them has two in there. Every one of these, what you're seeing here, that's in them. But the fabric will be random. That kind of stuff will be random. Some of the big pictures. Uh, and actually, no, all this stuff... It's the same, it's just the pictures won't, the wording, the pictures, it'll be a different page because it's not the same page. But at around about, it's the same thing. And then you have a vintage receipt. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I'm trying to turn it over. This actually should be in the front. Okay, and this is your uh, borrowed book, um, vintage borrowed book. Uh, thing for the person that's borrowing one of your books you would back in the day you would sign this uh, tell you who it was that was borrowing your book the date they borrowed it and what book it was and then you do the same here borrowed from whoever it was and then the date and then this is what you give they they would you would put your name here because they borrowed your book and then you put the date they borrowed it and then you give this to them to put in their book so they so it's like a bookmark that's what these were. And they were pretty cool, too. Anyways, you get one of those, and you get a cabinet card. The cabinet cards will be random. They can be small. They might be this huge. I don't know. You'll have to find that out. But this one, I most... This is the biggest one. And the reason why it's the biggest one, and why I don't mind giving, giving it up, is because if you was to cut that where this is, you still get a beautiful design if you had to cut it. But this is the back, this is the front, and yes, I paid $3.95 for this cabinet card. Yeah, which is very expensive for one little picture. <laughs> but that's what I do because I want to get, I want people to get into this, and that's why I love making these when I was going through all my stuff. So. get this all back in here okay we're gonna just sit this to the side and I will I'll put that back in there in just a minute this one I'm not gonna take out because it's hard to get this back in here pretty and everything so in this you will get one of those um, oh, I don't forgot what they're called oh anyways it's just a piece of round fabric that I gathered in the center what are they called there's moments I forget I mean, just totally forget. There's no bringing back the memory. It's just so weird. But anyways, uh, there's one of those in each one of these. Um, there's a 12-inch strip of lace. 
Uh, this one here that's a real pretty one, it's about five inches. This one is about five inches. And then you get a vintage paper tissue right there, paper napkin. And this is what it looks like. I guess I should just go ahead and take it out because you need to see what you're getting. Okay, put that there. So you get one of these. I don't think they're called pinwheels. What are they called? Anyways, it's one of these little guys. <laughs> My brain is gone right now. Oh, anyways, and you get a foot long piece of this pretty uh, lace. You can use it as is or you can cut it in little pieces because they're pretty little hearts. I made sure to not cut the hearts. Actually, this one was cut because it was at the beginning. That's why. I didn't cut that piece. <laughs> uh, the store did that I bought them from. Uh, this is vintage. This came off of a wedding dress. A vintage wedding dress that belonged to a woman many, many years ago. Um, this came from her dress. So, yeah. This one is very dear, near and dear to me. And this came from a little vintage dress that belonged to a little girl. I just thought it was so pretty. I even left this side seam on and this piece right here so that you could choose, you know, if you want to use that because a lot of people do use those things. And then you get two pieces of strips of, of um, fabric here. If I can get that loose. There we go. It's trying to stick to the other piece. You get a 12 inch, I think, or it might be longer. It's a real long strip of real pretty. I love this. And it's so soft. Uh, vintage. If I can get it to focus on this only. It's got pretty little flowers on it. And it's fringed on the edges. I love using this stuff. It's so pretty. In my... Anyways. And it goes well with the other stuff. And then this one is a real cute little bunny rabbit. You know, kind of fabric. And then this is a vintage... 1960s um, uh, paper napkins. And I'm just going to try and put this right back the way I had it, which is hard to do. I'm just going to flip that piece back over on that one. I know I should do this later because my camera will not like me doing this for so long. But OCD in me won't let it go. <laughs> and then this goes this way. And then I'll put that there, and I'll do that in just a minute. Now, for your large pieces of paper, you get a lot of vintage in here, and you get a lot of, you know, just cute papers. Okay, so the first starting off is a vintage. This is one of those smaller books. This is a vintage um, um, dictionary page. It still has the yellow on the edge where they yellow the sides of the, the you know, sides of the book pages. So there's that. These are from a um, very old, like 18th century um, medical book. So I hope there is nothing gross on there. I can't help that. It's just a vintage book that I found and I thought it was really cool. And the way it feels, is, it's just really smooth. This is from, I actually have this right here. It's a, it's a handy book from the 60s. The women would carry these, had them, have them all the time. I remember my mom even having one. Uh, but these are from, I'm trying to find one with a date on it so you can see the date yourself. Um, there you go, 1937. That just lets you know how old these are. Something just fell, I think. So anyways, this is 1937. And it's just, this tells, this is just games that you can play, and each one of them has, and it has like, this has uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Five games that you, that they used to play in the day, you know, the, the mothers would come up with the kids. This came from a vintage, um, like 19, I think it was 1940, I think, I do believe, a uh, poem book. So you get two poems. You get this poem here, and you get this poem here. Uh, most of them do have two poems on them, front one on the front, one on the back, and some of them don't. Some of them, uh, the one person was started over here, and it would just take from over there, you know, it would take up a lot of room. So, and you also get the beautiful pictures of these women. So there you go on that too. And then you have these. Uh, these are out of a. Uh, farmer's almanac that I have. It's vintage. Um, 
anyways this one is sage advice it's just real pretty i thought i'd make sure that it had a picture of a piece of sage i do believe these are from the vintage 1985 i think or 1927 i'm not sure either way even 85 is vintage but i don't know i think it's 19, the 1927 i don't know go with 1985 so i don't feel so bad um this one is from a dictionary this and this this is from a vintage dictionary that's why it's so yellowed and on the edge you can see that gold patina uh paint or whatever it is they put on the edges of the papers but they'd only do it on the top to make it look pretty when it went into the bookshelves that's what this one anyways that's a vintage page this is a uh, french paper from a like a 1940s book it's got french words on it and stuff this is from a um uh, what is it called like a rare you know like uh creatures that are going extinct um that are becoming more rare. That's in Arizona. Uh, even though I don't live in Arizona, it's a book that I found. Um, this is a algebra. Okay, I think this one is from a, a algebra book. If I'm not mistaken. It's from a textbook. I mean, a kid's textbook from the my years. I'm I was born in uh, 1969, so that's my teenage years. And then you have two pages from one of my larger uh, vintage dictionaries here from the same book. And this is from the other one that I just took it out and did this. This is where I said I don't count them as two, I count them as one. Anyways, that's from another vintage one that I have. Oh, that's a dictionary page, by the way. And then this one is also, you can count it as two, I count it as one, but this is from a... Um, like a tree book, I do believe. This is just a page, you know, for somebody, you know, they're, I love these kind of papers. This is vintage. This is uh, music, vintage music papers from a book. Very, very old. I'm trying to see, it just says, um, use of permission of something other publishing company, owner of copyright. I don't know. I'm trying to see a date. It says 1953 here. So around 1953. This one says 1935. So I always go with the ones closest to us. So 1953. It's more likely like 1953 then. And then there's this large, I have to fold it up, but it's a large picture. And you can fussy cut these out. You can use that picture if you want to. It's just really cool pictures of creatures. I don't want to show them all. Because some, one of them in there is kind of creepy to me. I don't like spiders. <laughs> and this is a uh, 1950 or 1951 um, uh, yearbook that I had found a long time ago. And so I put it in. I took it apart and put it in here. I kept the names of the people. And then we have the... Um, Thing that where you can make a quilt this is a like a template for that and you can turn that into so many cute little things this should be at the front because it's so small it won't be able to be found i guess i'll put it there and this one is just one of those packet lists my stuff is falling apart because it's old stuff um this is a packet list it just has everything that you should pack and everything and i it was a, a like a tablet and I thought that was really cool when I found it at the resale store. So I grabbed it and put it in here in this pack. Um, I noticed Gail had some of these. I found these at the resale store and I had to buy them. And I'm in Texas. She's in Minnesota, I think. Anyways, these are lantern, uh, uh, lantern uh, bags. Mine have this weird speckling going on. At first I thought there was something falling off and just getting all over it. It's just that's the way they all look. It doesn't come off or anything. And I just thought that it was so cool and it just adds to it. But hers weren't yellowing. Mine are like vintage looking. They're old looking. It's really cool. So yeah. And then when you open it up, see there's two in there. And you can also use the sides here for something. Or you can use the whole thing. There's so many cool ideas. And I noticed Gail said she was going to try and do a tutorial on one of these. Seems out I have them. I think I'm going to try and figure out something too. 
to make with these. So keep your eyes out for both of our channels because you might find it on hers and you might find it on mine too. Ways to use these. And it will be in my infirmary kit. I have five that's going out and each one of them will have that in it. This has got a little poem on it. It's got a whole area where you can write. It has a plant that's actually a um, spider, I call them spider plants. Uh, they're also called airplane plants. I don't know what the other uh, scientific name is. On this side, you can do the same thing. It has a plant here, and then it has a little, uh, like a little poem or a saying or something there. By the, It's like a quote. And then there's this paper here that I found, which is really cool. It's like a contractor's um, uh, ledger paper kind of thing. And it's a mint green. It's so pretty, and it's really long. So I had to fold it in half, and I tucked these two... One's tiny. This is a little bitty one. You get a real tiny one. So you get three doilies in this. You get a really miniature one. You get a medium sized one. And then you get a large one. And I keep this one inside here. This is almost vellum -y. vellum -y? Is that a word? It's almost as clear as vellum. Let's put it that way. So I like that. That's really cool. So I just tuck that in here so it doesn't get lost. That's how it goes in. And then we have all the papers, cool, cool papers. So I have um, this one for our Christmas paper, you know, page in your book. Actually, I might go get another one because that one's kind of ripped right there for some reason. So I'll go get another one real quick. And then there's a piece one. And then there's this, which I do not count but one time. But it has a pink one. It has a yellow one and it has a white one and they're a proposal and they have that um, ink thing going you know when you write across it it'll leave the ink kind of thing going through I forget what it's called now anyways and then you have this cool lemonade which is very cool for summer spring even in fall I love uh, that for fall but I don't know yeah my uh, daisies actually stay blooming in the fall but I'm in Texas so this paper I love. I actually had another set that I can't find that just had, that looked just like these, but not exactly, but didn't have this border around it, this pink, which even brings out the floral, the springtime in them even more, you know, so there's that. And then I give you one of these. These are vintage. These are like 80s, I do believe. This one folds out. Each one of them should only be one page, but with them you get like three pages. It, it, it'll either fold out like this or it'll be just two pieces like this. Without this, of course. It'll be like this instead. Just this, these two. And then I'm just open and close like that. But these are just the hard, uh, just no, it's not a book. It's just kind of like a pattern book kind of thing. Like a booklet. And I'm trying to see the date on this. Um, should be the, like in the 80s that I know because all of them are from the 80s um, hmm, I can't find it but it's around the 80s that's when uh, the person that gave these to me that's when she was ordering these online I mean, not online from a book and then you get a picture from a, one of my books of butterflies. There's butterflies on this side, and there's this on this side for this one. The other ones, I think, have butterflies on both sides. I thought this one had butterflies on this side, too, but I always say it's always best to have butterflies on only one side. That way you can fussy cut them and not have to worry. You can also, if it's for you, you can photocopy them, and then you'll have more than one. You know, you'll be able to use them over and over again. If you're using them for yourself. If you're not using them for yourself and you're doing that to sell, you can't photocopy and then do it when it's, because this is not that old of a book that that came, out, came from. Same thing with this one. This one's probably from the 80s. Uh, but it's just a book about, um, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, just just historical things, you know. If historical word is a word. Then I gave you something that I really, really love, and that's my parchment paper. I had to fold it over, but I didn't want to cut that off because you could always use that. So you get one piece. There you go. And it's the size of a piece of paper. It's actually a little bit longer than paper, I do believe. Yeah. It's a little bit longer than paper, but I just wanted to give you some parchment paper. And then you have pages from a... Uh, vintage uh, art book. I better hurry up because it's yeah, not got very much more time. 
This is from a book I had from when I was a teenager. It's from the 1954, you know, era. It's a um, um, interior decorating book. But I had to fold it so it would fit because it's like 14 inches long and 11 inches wide. So, yeah, it's really cool. And you have this from a book that I cannot remember the name of the book. It was about Shakespeare, though. And it's old. It's like in the 60s. This is from one of my gardening books that I don't use anymore. Because I have other ones, plus everything's online nowadays. Anyways, it has some cute little things you can fussy cut, or you can just leave it. It's got um, uh, un understanding about what they are and everything. And they're just, it's just a really cool little piece of paper. Then I give you some of my eco dyed paper. It's really cool. And also my coffee stain paper. This is my pink coffee stain paper. This is my green. Uh, as you can see, there's a print on there. This is my green, my favorite um, graph paper. It sounds so crinkly when it gets stained. I love this paper right here. And I'm willing to separate from it. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. <laughs> This is a booklet thing. I mean, you can actually cut these off. No, it's this way. You cut these off and they can turn into cards and stuff like that for you. Um, you just coffee stain them and then you can make them into stuff. This one here is for making um, uh, postcards with. There's one there, 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 and there. And it's already perforated for you. I have a box of those that I got from the resale store that I plan on using. <laughs> I'll give you a piece of vellum. I gave you a piece of chipboard kind of stuff. It's it's not real thick, but it is it's real strong. But I wanted something in here strong anyway, so I kind of added this as that. But you can also use it in making a little uh, book for yourself. And this is a book from a um, animal book of some kind from the I think it was from the 80s. Here's some more music paper for you that's vintage, that's actually piano music, and I love it when it look, looks like that. That's my favorite kind of music paper. I gave you a map. On the other side, there's a map. And it's large. I had to fold it, so I only count that as one. I don't count that as two pages. Same here. It's got a map on one side, and then it's got all those cities and stuff on the other side that I love using. And then this is my favorite piece right here. This is an envelope and it's solid black. Here's the, the lip. Turn it over. It's a lip. See? And it's solid black. First time I've ever seen something like that. And I grabbed it and that is the Infirmary Pack that you will get from me. It has like I said, 81 pieces. That's what fell. Was my thing that tell me how much, how many pages is in here. So it's 81 pieces. I could not get any more in there. If I do my bags, well, my package, my, these things. This cannot hold it. So I'm just saying. Uh, and it's the only thing I can put it in. And then I've got to find something that will hold it, like one of these envelopes. Find one. Um, like one of these. Come out of there. Like one of these. I'm going to have to find something like this or put it in a box one. And I think they won't allow it in a box. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, don't worry about that. You just worry about paying for it if you want it. Uh, go check it out. It's on my Etsy store. 81 pieces in there. And they're all cool pieces, vintage pieces. Some are newer, but most is vintage pieces, like from the 80s and back. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Um, help share it to other people and be sure to um, ask any questions in the bottom in the comments area if you have any questions about this it will be on my Etsy store check the uh, description below and it'll have links in there and it'll probably take you right there to it and yeah I guess that's it thank you all for watching you're amazing and I love you and thank you for all you do y'all have a great day and I bless you until next time